Here at the Nuclear Medicine Department at the Royal United Hospital in Bath, we do a variety of scans, but one of the scans that we don't do is brain perfusion imaging. This scan uh, is used to diagnose dementia, particularly Alzheimer's. We currently send our patients away to other hospitals for them to have this scan, and we would very much like to be able to offer that scan to, to our patients here. Other hospitals uh, have different gamma cameras to the camera that we have here. One, one in particular has a normal database of scans of normal, healthy individuals with healthy brains. And what we'd like is uh, to have a database of normal scans that was acquired on our system. So to understand what's abnormal with the brain, you need to know what's normal in the first place. When we have a patient who we think has dementia, we can scan their brain, compare it to some normal brains and see whether the patient brain is actually abnormal or not. Well ideally any centre that's doing this kind of scanning would have its own normal database of 30 or 40 normal patients being scanned on that particular camera so you'd know the patient scan and your normal scans are directly comparable because they're done on the same scanner. Well if you wanted to go out and scan 30 or 40 normal healthy people that would be quite expensive you'd be exposing them to radiation. Luckily, 34 healthy subjects have been scanned. However, that was on an, another camera system, which is different to ours, so we can't compare directly. It's not like for like. What we need is a mechanism for uh, being able to transfer that database across to our system as if it was acquired on our camera. The Phantom is a fake brain, which as far as the medical scanner is concerned, looks exactly like a real person who's been injected with the radioactive tracer, showing the blood flow in the brain. What we do is we use radioactive ink and we print off 40 slices through the brain, which are stacked into this Phantom. So once we've assembled the Phantom, we then scan it here at the IUH, and then we take it up to Frank J in Bristol and scan it again. And we can then directly compare the imaging performance of the two cameras because it's imaging exactly the same thing. We used the Phantom and we scanned it at uh, both nuclear medicine departments and we took that data up to Nathan Smith at the University of Bath. My background is in imaging, for example satellite and medical imaging and the mathematics behind it. And so when Robin and Martin came to the university and presented us with a problem and we had discussions to understand it fully, especially the medical aspects, and then I sat down and tried to work out a method in which we could solve the problem and implement it in software. And this was an iterative process and uh, took a number of stages, but finally we've arrived at a stage where we have a prototype version that we'd like to take forward to the next stage. The reason that uh, the university is important is that they have the expertise to develop a mathematical transformation which allows us to be able to transfer the database from the other hospital to our hospital. One of the enjoyable aspects from the project was actually visiting the local hospital and getting to know the people who work there and also seeing how technology that we develop at universities can directly impact patients. The benefits of the project are, firstly, it will enable us to be able to perform brain perfusion scanning uh, here at the Royal United Hospital, which is fantastic. But secondly, this technique is transferable to other centres and hence should be able to allow them to offer brain perfusion imaging as well. Uh, this should greatly improve dementia diagnosis in the UK.